one, we're going to find the points at which the tangent line to the curve is horizontal or vertical. Here's our two parametric equations. The first thing we're going to do is take the derivative of y with respect to t, which equals the derivative with respect to t of y, which is 1 plus 3 sine of t. Now this equals 3 cosine of t. And for our derivative of x with respect to t, that equals the derivative of negative 2 plus um, 3 cosine of t with respect to t. And this is going to equal negative 3 sine of t. All right. Now let's do the part A, which is the horizontal. So for the horizontal tangent, we're going to get derivative of y with respect to t equals 0. So um, that means our derivative of y with respect to t is this. This equals 3 cosine of t. Um, you can uh, take away the 3 because if you divide both sides by 3, you still get cosine of t. So we have cosine of t equals 0. Therefore, we have x equals negative 2 plus 3 cosine of t from here. So you substitute in your 0 here, you're going to get this equals negative 2 plus 0 equals negative 2. So if cosine of t equals 0, that means your sine of t equals plus or minus 1. So now let's look at our y value. So that means y equals 1 plus 3 sine of t. Um, now if you substitute in positive 1, you're going to get, uh, let's do it over here because I'm running out of room. Uh, if you substitute in positive 1, you're going to get 1 plus 3 times 1 equals 4. If you substitute in the negative 1 here, that's going to be 1 minus uh, 3, and that equals negative 2. So basically your um, x is negative 2, and then um, your two y's are 4 and uh, negative 2. So you put 4 and negative 2. So these are the points at which the tangent line is horizontal. Now let's do the vertical. So for the vertical, um, that means our derivative of x with respect to t equals 0. And also your derivative of y with respect to t is not equal to 0. So that means uh, our derivative of x with respect to t is negative 3 sine of t equals 0. If you divide both sides by uh, negative 3, we can just take away that. So we have sine of t equals 0. So that means for our y, we have y equals 1 plus 3 sine of t. So if sine of t is 0, this equals 1 plus 0 equals 1. So your y equals 1. Now, if sine of t equals 0, then your cosine of t equals plus or minus 1. So let's look at that. Our cosine of t, uh, we're going to write x equals negative 2 plus 3 cosine of t. If you substitute in positive 1, you're going to get negative 2 plus 3 times 1. That equals 1. If you substitute in negative 1, you're going to get x equals negative 2 um, minus 3, which equals negative 5. So these are your two x values. Your y value is 1. So we have a y value at 1, and your x values are at 1 and negative 5. So these are the points uh, at which the tangent line to the curve is vertical. 
Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.